Hi guys, so I am here today to plan in my fitness planner, my happy planner, for the week of June 26th through July 2nd. I am really excited because I am actually using my brand new happy planner, um, as well as beginning what I like to call Unicorn Month. Um, I am actually using, starting off Unicorn Month, with a kit from Glam Planner. Um, it is an older kit, I think I bought it probably about a year ago or longer, um, so it might not be available in our shop anymore. Um, but I love the glossy full boxes. I think the unicorns are adorable. I love how doe-eyed and um, big their eyes are. Uh, here we've got a little deco. We've got some boxes, some habit trackers, um, bright heart checklists. Um, we've also got our headers, um, some littles, our really pretty weekend banner. Uh, we've got our washi. And if it's any indication as to how old the kit is, the washi is actually matte. So um, I've also got some icons to go along with it. Um, a few of these I've gotten um, from Cross Press, or I should say Kristen purchased them for me as a gift. Um, we've got the unicorn on the treadmill. <laughs> we've got a unicorn doing yoga. Uh, we've got one with dumbbells, and we've got one grocery shopping. Um, I also bought some for myself from Frank Hartu and these guys are just uh, working out unicorn so those are going to be used as often as possible because it's unicorn month so why not all right I'm gonna get right into it this time around I am actually going to leave my pages in the planner um, even though I prefer taking them out when I'm working with them um, I found uh, they shifted around quite a bit while filming so they're gonna stay a little bit more um, stationary hopefully. Uh, we are going to start as always with the bottom. I don't use bottom washi um, in my happy planner. What I do is I actually use my full boxes um, because they are gorgeous and I don't want to cover them up. So instead of using like the washi strips I will actually use the full boxes. Um, I do think I want to use one of these quotes. Um, the other one I will be saving in order to use in my um, Erin Condren. Oh, actually, you know what? I lied. This week I am starting in my A5. Uh, lots of big changes come um, going on here. So let's see, which one do I want to use? I think I like this one best. So we're going to use this one, and I'm just going to line this up with the bottom as best as I can. Now these, again, are glossy, so I'm hoping not to make too many mistakes. Um, this one's going to come next. I think I'm going to try to space out the unicorns themselves as much as possible, just so they're not all clumped together. But I do want to get a couple of them on each page. Um, let's do this one. Love the look of these unicorns. This was actually, I think, the first unicorn kit that I bought, and that was what um, kind of spurred the idea of Unicorn Month in general. I just thought it was kind of a fun idea to use, you know, kind of like a theme from a bunch of different shops. Um, got a couple different kits. They all have different looks to them, but they're all, you know, unicorn, obviously. Um, let's see here. We'll do. Actually, I think I want the rainbow in the end. I did notice that they didn't quite fill. The entire box I had a little bit of extra room here I'm gonna try and not let that bother me usually that would drive me nuts but I'm trying to be a little bit more laid back and I think that oh shoot I might have to trim that a little bit on the bottom I do see that I um actually covered the end of the page I went off the page just a tiny little bit um, so I'll try to trim that and make that uh, even so it doesn't stick to anything else and again I've got that little tiny gap at the bottom I'm gonna try and not let that bother me like I said all right so we've got those done so we're actually gonna start at the top with our headers now um, let's see I usually leave to do for my personal planner um, just because that's where I keep all my like cleaning my chores what have you so I'm gonna use today at the top I uh, use the top and the checklist for um, meal planning. Now, sometimes I do it a day or two in advance, but usually it's just uh, more of like a record keeper lately, um, or like a memory keeper, I should say, of what I ate. Um, I um, My goal is actually to crack back down on 
the dieting and the working out. Uh, it's been a little minute since I've been to the gym, so I am going to try to get back into the swing of things this week. And I thought the whole new planner, the fun unicorn month, I thought all of that might spur me and get me a little bit more motivated. Uh, also starting in um, this week, I'm going to be using my new A5 planner to plan out all my personal plans. So I thought with everything new, I could do a whole like new me new thing yeah just babbling that's fine <laughs> all right so let's get our checklist and then these are super pretty they've got like water coloring to them almost um they match really nicely with the the full boxes um i think i'm just gonna put them down randomly because uh, i normally try to color block but since these are so colorful that's obviously not really gonna gonna happen so just random will work just fine. Oops. And I have to get this last one for this day. I think I'm going to end up with that little bit of gap on the side. Oh, this one's not as bad. What I probably should have done is centered them within the box and left like the little black outline on each side. I think I might try to do that on this page so they won't be like perfectly lined up next to each other which I try to do um, they'll have like that little border between them and I think that'll help to avoid the extra little gap of white space on the side although if I don't line these up very straight <laughs> oops that won't help either oh please don't rip oh awesome okay like I said, love the look and feel of glossy. I think they just look so much better than matte, but um, I love the fact that you can reposition almost all of the mattes. Um, although I have invested in some undo, I've taken it on its maiden voyage and it's worked perfectly, so I guess I shouldn't be too leery about using um, glossy anymore. All right, so this is where I keep track of my meals. Underneath that, I'll keep track of, I write my calorie goal, um, I write where I was actually at as far as calories, and then um, the deficit or overage. Um, these guys, I think I'm going to try to kind of color coordinate them with the boxes below. Um, hmm, I do want to use the, as many of the fun ones as I can. I think this one looks most like this. So we're just going to line this up on the bottom as best as I can. Alright, and then this one kind of looks like this one, which I've got next to it. I don't really want to put the two next to each other, um, but it, hmm, I could use it for that one, I think. That one's close enough that it shouldn't make a difference. I'm trying to spread them out as much as possible, but... Um, they're so stinking cute. This pink one could go with the pink unicorn. And then we've got one more fun one. I think it'll look really nicely with that one. And then we'll just use the solid colored ones in between, trying to, again, color coordinate as best as possible. Let's see. So we've got the blue one, the pink and blue one, and the solid pink one. So I probably won't need this green. Um, I think the lighter blue, oh, actually this, hmm, lighter blue, let's do pink pink for this one. Just trying to get these lined up is really difficult. I give props to people who are able to do it without any difficulties. I swear I get one thing crooked and then my whole entire spread ends up slanted. <laughs> All right, and I think this blue one will look really nice with this one, so. All right, so now I will have to pull some littles and actually use those for the next part. Uh, normally, I would um, put, ooh, put like a quarter box um, down here, and that's actually where I keep track of my weight. Um, but I think if I use the littles and just put those along and then cover the icons, because I've got lots of unicorn icons to use up. Um... 
The unicorns are quite large, so it doesn't matter what one I use. I think I'm going to use the TV just for consistency's sake and see how far that gets me. And again, I'm just going to try to line these up along the bottom as best as I can. And then, like I said, I just keep my track of my weight in there. Um, nothing too special. And I know some people do it weekly. Um, I just like to keep it daily because it helps to keep me motivated. Um, like if I was up from the day before and I like skipped to the gym, so that'll like motivate me to hopefully go to the gym, um, try to, you know, work some of that off. Um, so like I said, some people do it weekly, some monthly, some don't even keep track at all. I just, I do it for daily for my personal self just because it usually helps keep me motivated but since i've been a slacker oh we've got one extra i need let's do this box because i know i won't use a box for anything oops i think i pulled up the page just a tiny little bit uh, it'll be fine all right so then i want to cover those right away with some of the unicorns now i'm not sure which one I want to use, let's see, what do we have? We've got the treadmill, we've got yoga, working out, groceries, or this one. I think what I'm going to do is, hmm, use the dumbbell one. Or maybe I could use some of each. Let's do the dumbbell one. I love crust processed paper. It's just so soft. Feels like butter. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna quick cover those up along the way, and I'm gonna try to put them at about the same height. Um, just trying to use up a lot of my icon, my unicorn icons. Obviously, I bought these specifically for Unicorn Month because I've had this planned now for quite some time. I had actually hoped to do it a little bit sooner, but um, I had other kits that I wanted to use um, throughout the spring and summertime, so it ended up being July finally when I could do this. And I had everything ready. I had all my kits, all my icons, everything to go. And I thought it would be kind of fun to do something that I was really excited for in, like, my new planners. Like I said, I'm using my brand new Happy Planner for my fitness planner. And then I've got my brand new A5, which I'm going to use for my personal plans. All right, so we've got those guys down. Um, you know what I did forget to do? My next set of headers before I put those down. Oops. Um, let's see here. Um, I kind of now don't want to cover that section up. Um, let's see. I use the bottom portion for um, keeping track of my workouts and then I also use this bottom section as kind of like a journaling section. Um, I write down things that I was really proud of or um, things that I thought I did well. Let's see. And all the washi strips are actually slightly different sizes. Normally I would use the washi strips to help kind of cover this up. So I think what I'm going to do is just put the Littles label here. And then leave this empty space then for writing my steps and then my uh, workouts. And then I can use the like section down here at the bottom still for the journaling. Uh, normally I would just put the header and then it would cover both sections. But since the washi strips are all different sizes, I wouldn't have enough to cover this header section. So we're going to do this like this and this will still work out just fine. Um, maybe I've got some flags or some teardrops or something I can use to kind of distinguish the second section. Um, although this store sort of still makes sense because I would do my exercises and my steps that would still, I guess, be considered under today. So it's not the end of the world. I usually set my fitness planner up the same every week just because I found that the consistency helps keep me on track when I'm on track. No, I don't think I need anything else. I'm going to save my weekend banner for my 
personal planner, my A5, which I'm really excited to use. I bought um, really fun, very pretty rose gold foiled inserts for my A5, so I'm really excited to start using that. All right, I don't actually have, hmm, any flags or teardrops or anything to go with this, but I do kind of have this deco. That would be sort of fun to incorporate in. Um, we'll do that and then we'll write, I'll write my steps and then I'll my, write my workout down here at the bottom. So we'll kind of mix this up with, let's see, that's blue. We'll do like a blue star. And then we've got a pink one. Let's do this like purpley one. I think this will be kind of fun. It might be a little juvenile, especially considering I am 30 years old, but you know what? You gotta be a kid at heart. It makes life more fun, makes things more interesting. And you gotta do what you love. And I love unicorns, apparently. <laughs> so this works out perfect for me. All right, I've got this like reddish one I think I'm gonna use here. And I'm just kind of switching up between the clouds and the stars. And like I said, I think I'm gonna write my steps there and then I'll just write my workout underneath. There's plenty of room to fill that in. Now, unfortunately, I've got yellow and a green and another, hmm. Colors don't exactly match how I'd like. So we're just gonna do, pick one and put it down. All right, and then we'll use this green one. And then now I've got, still got plenty of deco I can use to incorporate into my A5. All right, I do ha want to do a little bit with my sidebar yet. So I've got one half box left. I'm gonna use that to cover up the notes part and turn on. Ooh, that is really crooked. Hopefully, don't peel, don't, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. Very carefully trying to peel up that little corner I pressed down without tearing the page. Or I could just grab my undo, but I think we are good. Okay, perfect. So try to line that up a little bit better. Let's see. Ooh. Third time's the charm, apparently. Okay. So I do keep track of a rolling kind of grocery list. So I'm going to grab the grocery unicorn that I've got <laughs> and put that down. Ooh, if I can get it to come off the, the sheet. The cuts are really good. I just don't have any nails at the moment, so it's really hard to peel it up. That's so cute. I love those. Thank Kristen again. She is awesome. She got me a bunch of little um, unicorn icons when Crest Press had her two for Tuesdays. So let's see. I also kind of want to put a little bit of washi on the bottom just to sort of cap it out. Um, I think this multicolored one would be really pretty. Just sort of like to box in my sidebar then it doesn't feel so endless and I do also want to put a tracker I do keep track of my water on here as well and since these didn't come with any kind of like hydration tracker I'm just gonna use one of these weekly ones and then just write the number of glasses of water I had on here Ooh, I'm starting to tear the page a little that's not terribly crooked I think we can survive with that do I want to do another strip of washi? Um, I do know I want to get a header on there, but let's see. To clean next week, let's see, dinner work schedule. None of those really work. So, at least none of them really make sense. Because they're not going to be my dinners. That's what I'm going to have up in my checklist. So let's skip that and maybe we'll do like a thinner strip of washi. And I really like this multicolored, so I'm gonna use that again, one of the thinner strips, and maybe I'll write on here, just like water, and then I'll have my red and gold, ooh, oh no, shoot, I like snaked the corner of that, maybe I can get that to go down, I've got like a tape runner, and maybe I'll just get that little corner to, to stick back down, I'm not even sure how that happened, oops, oh well. Alright, so I'm going to quick fill this in as fast as I can and as much as I can, um, so I will be right back. 
All right, so I did fill everything in. I did also add in some more icons. Um, I added one in for each of the days for my workouts. I might try to find ways to bring more um, icons in throughout the week, but I think that's probably it for my fitness um, planner. Did kind of want to go over my little bit of leftovers with you. I do have some deco and a habit tracker. I've got just about all of my washi. I've got some headers, I've got quite a few littles, do also have a weekend banner. I had one of the quotes that I saved for my other planner as well as a checklist. Now all of that I'm going to try to use as much as possible in my A5 which I use for my personal plans. Do you also have quite a few icons left. Um, I've got the Crest Press ones here that I've tried to use up um, as many as I could. And then I've also got all of my friend cards too. Um, I did use only the Caress Press this week just because I liked the consistency of having all the same style unicorn. Um, I might use my friend cards too in my personal plans for this week just because they're super cute. But I will probably keep it consistent using either just one shop or the other. Um, I may, if I'm feeling whimsical, use both. But we'll see how that goes. All right, so if you've got questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.